restoring the father's name Yahweh. Restoring the Messiah's name Yahshua. Re-establishing Torah Covenant. Preparing the Bride. The Revealing of the Sons of Elohim. Prophecy. The return of Malchizedek, the royal priesthood. Elijah's school of the prophets. The way ministries. A return to the Philadelphian spirit. Revelation chapter 3, verse 1. And to the angel, pastor, or congregational leader of the church of the called out ones in Sardis, write, These things says, by laying down a systematic discourse, he who has the seven spirits of Yahweh and the seven stars. I know your works, that you have a name, with authority and character, that you are alive, but you are dead as a corpse. Be watchful with waking vigilance and strengthen as a firm resolution the things which remain that are the remnant ones. They are ready to die with expectation. For I have not found your works perfect or satisfactory to the point of executing an office before Yahweh. Remember therefore how you have received and heard. Hold fast and guard from loss or injury and repent. Therefore if you will not watch by staying vigilant I will come upon you as a thief, and you will not know what hour I have come upon you. You have a few names that have authority and character even in Sardis who have not defiled or soiled with unclean things their garments that are robes, and they shall walk as proof of their ability with me in white light, for they are worthy and suitable to draw praise. He who overcomes or prevails to the point of victory shall be clothed and arrayed in white light garments that are robes. I will not blot out or obliterate his name that has authority and character from the book that is the scroll of life, but I will confess the covenant of promise of his name before my father and before his angels. He who has an ear, let him hear by giving an audience to what the Spirit says to the churches who are the called out ones. And to the angel, pastor, or congregational leader of the church who are the called out ones in Philadelphia, who love as brethren write, these things says, and lays forth a set discourse. He who is holy and sacred, he who is true, he who has the key that locks of David, he who opens and no one shuts, and shuts and no one opens. I know your works. See, I have set before you an open door that is a portal entrance, and no one can shut it. For you have a little strength of miraculous power, and have kept in guard from loss or injury my word, and have not denied, contradicted, or disavowed my name with authority and character. Indeed, I will make those of the synagogue that are Jewish of Satan, who say they are Jews as belonging to Yehuda, and are not but lie and deceive through falsehood. Indeed, I will make them come and worship to prostrate in homage before your feet to know that I have loved you because you have kept and guard from loss or injury my command, which is the divine expression of Yahshua, to preserve with cheerful endurance, I also will keep and guard from loss or injury you from the hour of trial and evil solicitation, which shall come upon the whole world to test and scrutinize those who dwell on the earth. Behold, I am coming quickly. Hold fast and with seizing strength what you have that no one may take your crown, a twined wreath, as a badge of royalty. He who overcomes and prevails to the point of victory, I will make him a pillar as a support beam in the temple of my Yahweh. And he shall go out no more, 
I will write on him the name with authority and character of my Yahweh and the name of the city of my Yahweh, the new Jerusalem, which comes down descending out of heaven, the abode of Yahweh from my Yahweh, and I will write on him my new name. He who has an ear, let him hear by giving an audience to what the Spirit says by laying down a systematic discourse to the churches of the called out ones. And to the angel, pastor, or congregational leader of the church, of the called out ones of the Laodiceans, write, These things says the Amen, so be it. The faithful and true witness who was a martyr from the beginning of the creation of Yahweh. I know your works, that you are neither cold in chilliness nor hot with fervent heat. I could wish you were cold or hot. So then, because you are lukewarm and tepid, and neither hot, cold or hot, I will vomit you out of my mouth. Because you say with boasting, I am rich, abounding with wealth, have become wealthy, and have need of nothing, and do not know that you are wretched, miserable, poor, as a beggar, blind, and naked. I counsel you to buy from me gold refined to the point of glowing in the fire, that you may be rich, and white garments that are robes, that you may be clothed that the shame and disgrace of your nakedness may not be revealed, and anoint your eyes with eye salve that you may see and perceive. As many as I love as an object of affection, I rebuke with admonishment and chasten by punishment as in child rearing. Therefore, be zealous with warm feelings for or against and repent. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come into him and dine as an evening meal with him and he with me. To him who overcomes and prevails to the point of victory, I will grant to sit with me on my throne, which is a stately seat, as I also overcame and sat down with my father on his throne. He who has an ear, let him hear by giving an audience to what the Spirit says by laying down a systematic discourse to the churches of the called out ones.